Hi, my name is Liz Wetmore and I'm from the New Lenox Library and today I'm going to show you how to make a pop-up card probably for Mother's Day. I mean that's two weeks away so I thought this would be a perfect thing to show you how to do this. So we're going to start with four by four pieces of paper and you're going to need seven of these. Now what I do is I get like origami paper but this could be like regular copy paper. It can be anything that's kind of thin and flimsy because you don't want it real thick. So you can have it colored, you can have it white where you color it in, so it's all up to you. But they have to be four by four. Okay, so when you get the paper, you're gonna start by folding it into the corners into a, a, a triangle so you get to that, okay? And then you're gonna take and fold and make another triangle. So you're going straight up like that. Okay, then our next step is we're gonna go one more time. Okay, so now you have the open edge up at the top. We are going to draw a petal shape. So basically you're gonna do kind of like a half circle. Okay, and you're gonna cut that out. Basically like that, and then when you unfold it, you'll see that you have a flower, okay? So we're gonna make seven of these. So I always take my first one and make it my template for my next one. So go ahead and let's do it one more time. We're gonna go and fold into a triangle. We're gonna fold into another triangle, and then we're gonna fold it again so that we have the top open up at the top, we're gonna take and match up our last cut one, and you're just gonna take your scissors and follow that, follow that same curve. That way all your flowers match, okay? So you're gonna continue this till you get to seven flowers. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you, once you get to seven flowers, I'm gonna show you how to decorate them and everything. So, okay, so here we have our flower. These are the ones that we just made. Now basically we're gonna cut out one petal of these. So we're gonna take and we're just gonna go ahead and cut out one petal like that, okay? And now we're gonna decorate them. Now this is where you can have some fun and at the end of the video, I'll show you some different ideas for this. But for this one, we're gonna do something real simple. We're gonna, you're gonna skip one. You don't need to do that one. And then you're gonna do dots, okay? So we're gonna do like two dots and then one dot. Go every other, then go two and then one and then two, and then one, okay? These are gonna be our pistons, so we're basically gonna join them back up to the middle. So you're just gonna take and draw, and you can do this with either a colored marker, you can do this with black. I want mine to kinda look like poppies, so I did them with black. Okay, and then you're gonna take and you're just gonna draw the middle of the flower, okay? And I do it up a couple times so that it gets about, you know, a quarter of the way up the page. Just like that. Okay, that's it. Okay, so now you have your seven flowers, okay? So I'm gonna show you how you put them together. But before we do that, I wanna show you what we're gonna make. I guess that would help. It's like, to give you an idea of what you're gonna make, it's gonna be a pop-up card that's gonna open up and be a, a bunch of flowers. So. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna connect all these flowers together. So we're gonna start with, get yourself some glue. You know, I always do a paintbrush, it seems a little easier. And you're, the one that you didn't decorate, the petal you didn't decorate, you're just gonna put a little bit of glue on, okay? And you're gonna overlap your petal so it forms like a cup shape and you're just gonna glue that. And then you're just kind of refolding just to make sure that all your folds are in pretty good shape. So I do that a couple times with my petals just to make sure that they're still folded and ready to go. And then just put it off to the side and we're gonna do that for all of them. So follow along with me as we make our cup shape overlap like so. Fold it back down.
and then just put it off to the side. This, you can do this with a glue gun. I've done it with a glue gun. It works that way too. You could probably do it with a glue stick or you can just use regular glue like I'm using. So any of these will work. I happen to do two colors of my petals today. You could do it in all different colors or you can do it in the same color. Today I thought it might be pretty if I did orange and red. So I kind of did a mixture of both. Thought this could be the perfect Mother's Day gift you know it's like we're all in the house and so this is just a great way of like finding materials around the house that you already have and making your mom who you appreciate so much a great Mother's Day card okay I got two more to do because you're gonna do a total of seven of these kind of overlap Hold it for a second, fold it. And our last one. Add your glue. Hold it for a second. Give it a little bit of a refold. That will just make it easier when you have to get it to pop up. Okay. Then our next step is we're going to take a regular piece of, I'm going to get this out of the way because it's got glue on it. Um, you're going to take a regular uh, piece of paper. I use a little heavier, so like a cardstock, and fold it in half. Okay, so you now have it perfectly folded in half. You're going to need that for a step coming up. So now before we do that, we're going to take our flowers and we're going to kind of combine them all together. So we're going to start with one flower, okay, and you're going to point them all facing you and so we're I'm gonna put a little dot where you would put the glue so that going forward you're gonna know where the glue goes so we're gonna put glue on both of these petals just at the tip you don't need to put a lot just kind of give it at the tip okay and then you're taking your next flower okay and you're going to line it up towards so it falls into the middle and Kind of press it into there and you're going to do the exact same on the other side so that you have it lined up okay so now it should look like that okay our next thing is we are going to put glue on the top three so you're going to put one two three that's where your glue is going to go okay so you're going to take your glue put it on the top Put your nuts flower is going to lay across those three and you're just going to kind of press it down because you glued it in the three spots okay and then our next one is going to be you're going to here's the very top you're going to skip that one and you're going to do one two one and two And you're going to put a little bit of glue. And then you're going to take your petals and you're going to line them up again to be on the sides. Dots on the top of your thing and add a little glue and then add your last piece is going to go right onto the top like so. Okay. And then that's basically all your flowers, your seven are all put in, okay? So now you're gonna open your card. You're gonna line up your edges right to the crease, okay? And we're gonna put a little glue, let me mark it again so you can see. We're gonna put a little glue on the top one right there. Give it a little bit of glue. Make sure you're lined up so that you can close your card. Close your card and just kind of rub the top. Okay, and now we're going to do the exact same on the other side. We're gonna 
put a little dot where your glue goes. And then we're gonna add a little bit of glue here. And then we're gonna close the card. We're gonna try to make sure that it's glued down. And then when you open it, it's going to be a bouquet. Now what I do with this is I also add leaves in because it makes it look really pretty. So let me show you that. So I'm gonna show you how to cut an easy leaf. You're gonna take a piece of that same paper, four by four, and you're gonna just make one triangle shape, okay? And you're gonna take, and you're just gonna do a half of a circle. And that makes your leaf, okay? And if you want to, like I did, you can cut in little angles to give yourself, you know, more of a different shape leaf. So that's kind of what I did here. So I have some examples of different leaves that I've cut. So with that, I am going to, let me get my markers out here. I am going to color just to give it a little bit of definition, I'm gonna put in some veins. So I just basically draw in a little bit of veins. Now you can do this with marker, you can do this with white marker, it looks really pretty. Um, you can do it with black if you only have black. So then you're gonna say, okay, now where would I wanna put my petals? And so I think it'd be really nice to have one kind of there. So. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the glue, put it right there, add my petal in. Okay, and then I'd like to have one probably here at the top. So I'm going to take a little bit of glue and add that in. You can make this card your own. You could put little hearts here on the side. Um, you can do anything. This is just, you know, one quick idea of just adding a few petals, but you can put anything flat so that when it opens, it's still part of the whole scene. So as you can see, it's something as simple as that. And then it closes up and it closes perfectly fine. So on the front, you know, address it to your mom. Maybe you could do another one of these flowers and put it on the front would be pretty. I'm also gonna show you a couple ideas for the flowers that you can do. So I did this one in pastels. So I just kinda of did pastels where I did highlights and shadows. I did this one and I used a little bit of glitter and I did it a small size. I did this one where I did a different shape petal, which you can easily do as well. And you can make the same design with different shape petal. And here's the one that we just did. So that just gives you an idea of some of the flowers that you can incorporate. And they do look pretty if you wanted to take them and put, you know, do a little collage of different flowers on your cover for your mom. And then when she opens it up, she's gonna be like, oh my gosh, a whole bouquet. So I hope that you've enjoyed that. I hope that that showed you a great idea for your next uh, card. When you're in a pinch and you just wanna make something quick, grab your supplies and, and make a card. So also don't forget to visit us at the New Lenox Library at www.newlenoxlibrary.org where you can find all these programs. We have programs daily going, so check in and see what we have going each day. I'm always here on Friday, so I'll see you next Friday.